Welcome, I'm Megan Walker and we have reached the letter B in the A to Z of real-time marketing. So, in this video we're going to look at building conditions. Now, conditions can be used in emails where we want to create one email but maybe the sort of what the person receives is going to be slightly different based on specific information that's maybe on their contact record or on the related account record. So in this example we're going to look at languages, so if somebody has a different language on their record maybe we want to have the greeting be slightly different. So these conditions that we can build we can say if somebody has French, let's show something in French. If somebody has German, German, and so on. So let's go ahead and have a look and see how we can actually achieve this. Okay, so we are on an email and we're gonna start off and go to the personalized tab on the toolbox. And from here, what we can do is we can give this a label. We're gonna call this language. So for this, we're just gonna set up one example and we're gonna call it language and we're going to search for the language field on the contact record. So we have a preferred language field. You could have something completely different. This is actually a lookup field. So then what we need is we need the name of the language. So we're going to say if the contact's preferred language, the name of it is French, that is our condition. So what are we going to do? So once we've added in that condition, what we can then do is a couple of different ways to get the code. One way is from that we could, could have done save and generate code. So when we say generate code, we're basically having the system create the little snippet that we need so we can say if language blah 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 else do something else so language is the um the sort of snippet that we created so we're saying if language so if that is met if they do have french then we're going to show something in french otherwise else it's going to be in english now, that's just one example. So this is basically just saying, if it's French, show the French um, text. Otherwise, show the English text. So that doesn't really take into consideration other different languages. So this is just showing one example. So we've called our condition language. We've said, if it's, um, if it's French, that's the language um, uh, condition. Show that, otherwise show something else. Now, if we want to see how that looks, we can we can preview this and then what we get is all of our different conditions down the side we can set language to true which then means it will then show the language for French because we've said that the condition is true meaning yes it's French on their record now what we can do is we can go back to the personalize and let's now add in a few more things so now we're putting in different conditions and we're giving them the label name so we're calling them by what the actual language is so we've got german we're now adding french um then we could add spanish so we can go ahead and we can actually add in these conditions as separate items so then what we're able to do is say if it's French, do this. If it's German, do this. If it's Spanish, do this, and so on. So by having in these additional ones, what we can then do is from the advanced personalization menu at the top, we can then go ahead and generate the code from here. And what we're able to do is select the condition of French and then say else if German, else if Spanish, and then that builds out the entire uh, code for us which we can then go ahead and replace what we have currently and just put in all of that so if French do this else if German do this else if Spanish do this else which is basically anybody else would meet that criteria criteria then we put in what the actual English should be okay so we're going to go ahead and let's paste in so there's the French then obviously I'm using Google Translate, my French, German and Spanish is not so great. So apologies if it's slightly wrong, but that's what Google says. So we're able to then paste in and say, this is what the French would be if the person had French on their preferred language field. This is what the German would be. This is what the Spanish would be. And then finally that else is kind of like the default. So we're saying if all else fails and the person doesn't meet any of those other conditions, this is what we want to do. So now again, when we preview, 
we can go down and we see all of these conditions. We see French, we see German, we see Spanish. By putting true to test it, that then changes and says, oh, okay, so that condition is met. It is true. That statement is true. It is Spanish or it is German. So then we're able to go ahead and see what it would look like. So that's how you build conditions. Uh, you can obviously do conditions for all kinds of things. So we just did something that was on the contact record, but we were actually jumping through because preferred language was the lookup field. We're then going through to the preferred language field to find the name. You might do something on the account and then find a field on the account and use that as the condition. It could be something else that's going from the contact through to another record. So considering the conditions is something that allows you to create one marketing email but then have it be a truly customized experience based on using conditions from values on those contact records so hopefully this will help you let me know what you think in the comments below is there something that you can see that you'll find useful and you'll start using let me know what you think hi i'm megan walker thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it if you don't want to miss out on any other content you can go ahead and Click on my face below to subscribe and if you want to watch the next video you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.